are here from Hollywood Smoke in Santa Monica. This is Steve Kim with the co-host and the star of the show, Ray Boom Boom Mancini. And the gloves are off. Ray, October 18th, Gennady Golovkin takes on Marco Antonio Rubio. Here's what I think the big story is. We could talk about the fight later. Right now, 75% of the tickets are sold at the StubHub Center. And they're actually opening up standing room only tickets, which is unheard of of that venue. What does that currently say about the popularity of Golovkin? He's a world star. He's a worldwide star. He's, he's the attraction in boxing now. He is, to me, along with Pacquiao, along with Mayweather, along with uh, Canelo, possibly Cotto still, he's the face of boxing. But pretty soon he's ready to overtake all these guys and mm -hmm. become the face of boxing. All I will say this, I saw Marco Antonio Robio fight several years ago. He came to Youngstown to fight Kelly Pavlin mm -hmm. for the middleweight title. Durable guy, strong guy, puts on a good show, doesn't have the talent to beat uh, Golovkin, but he'll be durable for as long as he can be. The, and he'll stand in, there, stand in there as long as he can and put on a good show. All right, you know what I love about this promotion? They've actually named it in honor of what he said after his fight with, with Daniel Gill, Mexican style. And I, I find it interesting. It's, a, it's something I haven't seen before. Mexicans are very parochial and loyal to their own fighters. But we've seen it. We've been to other fights where Golovkin walks in and every Mexican treats him like he's Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. There, there's something that resonates about him that crosses a lot of cultural lines. So let's face it, as I've said this to you before, <laughs> outside of Borat, we don't know a lot of Kazakhs in this country. No. Steve, the best way I can explain that is years ago, I had a, a couple of uh, black uh, gentlemen say to me, boom, boom, we love you, man, we love you. You know why? Because you fight like a brother. You <laughs> fight like a brother. And I knew what they meant. That's the same thing about Golovkin. He fights a style the Mexicans love. Mm -hmm. He starts the Mexican style. That's why the Mexicans love him. That's why he's a crossover star. Ray, uh, the one thing that I hear about Golovkin, and when guys like Canelo, Cotto, or anyone else says, mm, why would I fight him? It's not worth it. No one knows you. That's another way of saying risk versus reward. That quotient doesn't fit in right now. In other words, he's too doggone dangerous. It's important for him to sell tickets and build up that market value. This stuff is important to a fighter, isn't it? Well, it is. It just goes to show you his appeal. Like you said, he's fighting here at the hub, uh, Stub Hub. Stub Hub here in, in, a, in, a, in Los Angeles, right outside. It's, it's a Mexican populated area. Mm -hmm. He's fighting a Mexican, but 75% of tickets are sold because of Golovkin. Look, only 75% of the tickets are sold for Mayweather uh, Maidana. Mm -hmm. So here's a guy who's doing the same type of numbers in a small arena. Let's put him in a big arena so what he could do. In one year, let's project ahead. Anything could happen. Do you think Golovkin will then be in a position where he has leverage? Do you think he'll end up getting one of those big marquee fights? I think he will. He'll have to. They can't avoid him because he's capturing all the belts. Pretty soon, yeah. he can't say, I'm going to go fight for this belt. Oh, Golovkin yeah. got it. No, I'm going to fight. Oh, he's got that belt. So he's capturing all the belts. So basically, he's trapping these guys. And that's it for Gloves Off with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. If you want to check us out at UCNlive.com for all the latest news in the sport of boxing. We're also on Twitter at UCN Live. This is Steve Kim saying goodbye, everybody.